Night Action is. Now, your local news. Up next, a high-speed chase ends in a deadly crash with innocent victims. The first pictures after a devastating earthquake, Roxy Ron. Just when you thought it was safe to go outside, another bear is spotted in our area. Also, Cardinal O'Connor takes an extraordinary stand. And were there any winners in the $25 million lotto drawing? News 2 starts now. You're watching CBS 2. Now, News 2 at 11. Topping tonight's news, a crowded supermarket becomes the scene of a deadly shooting this Mother's Day. Good evening, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Dana Tyler. Police say a man was gunned down right outside the busy Pathmark supermarket in Co-op City. News 2 reporter Vince Dementry is at the scene for us with the latest. It happened at 5 o'clock this afternoon at this Pathmark on Bartow Avenue. Be cool about five. Do you know what I want from the news? Just give me weather that's clear, easy to understand. Uh, news that's to the point. Without all the chit-chat. A clear, concise report. I can watch without slowing down. You know what we want from the news? A newscast that doesn't waste my time. Introducing the first newscast built to keep up with your day. It's about time. A newscast that respects the time you have to watch. That's not news as usual. That's news too. More news in less time. The Pataki D'Amato plan for vacancy decontrol means an end to you know how easy this was. Who never would have waited? Who knows? My next kitchen may be yours. Time. I never seem to have enough time. It's time. I don't have time to read the paper. I don't have time to watch the news. It's about time. Time for something different. It's time for something different. Yeah, I, I want to know what's going on, but I don't have an hour to sit in front of the tube. It's time for news that moves at the speed you do. Hey, I got 30 minutes. Give me the world. News 2, the news you need in the time you have. More news in less time. Say, if you're just joining us here, you've noticed we have a new look and I have a new partner here. I want to welcome Stephen Clark to the News 2 family. That's kind of a package deal I come with the desk. <laughs> Glad to have you here. <laughs> We're off here with good news for the uh, Ranger fans. All right, thank you. Welcome aboard, thank Stephen. You. At the Meadowlands in overtime, the Rangers beat the Devils 2-1. to one. Take the series four games to one. Now play the Flyers. Let's go to the videotape. First period. Look at the great pass from Gretzky to Tikkanen on the breakaway, and he beats three minutes, <laughs> eight minutes of sports in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no better than you to do that. Thanks, Warner. Up next tonight, hear how the Transit Authority plans to make millions without raising fares. Also, the Seinfeld cast makes a deal. And here's one reason to stay off the roads tonight. You're looking live at the traffic on the Harlem River Drive from Chopper 2. We'll be right back. Celebrating. So when you need light, you do this. When you need water, you do this. And when you need news, do this. Punch in WCBS News Radio 88 for all the news you need, plus traffic and weather together on the A's. WCBS News Radio 88 has more reporters and more of the news you need to survive. So when you want news fast, switch on WCBS News Radio 88. CBS News Radio 88. Non stop news. It's Fortunoff's 75th birthday backyard store. A million dollars per episode, but they will be getting $600,000 per show, up from the 150 grand they got this year. 100,000 tons of cement lands in Newark. That story tops our More News segment tonight. At Newark Airport, one of the two main runways is back in business tonight. Note in Pilot Talk is four right, 22 left. It was shut down for 15 days for repaving. Delays caused by the shutdown were so minimal, the Port Authority says you probably didn't even notice. In Harlem, a dream come true for a Hale House on this Mother's Day. Hale House cares for children with serious medical problems. Today, the city gave Dr. Lorraine Hale the title to the building. And coming soon to a Metro card near you, advertising. The Transit Authority says it could make $10 million by adding ads to the little cards. The TA hopes to start selling those Metro card ads next year. More parking spaces in Manhattan, 13 of them at First Avenue and 48th. 
They used to be the domain of diplomats working at the nearby United Nations, but now it is the early bird that gets the space. I should have come Ira Joe with your wake up weather. Plus another bear chase in our area. We will bring you the latest chapter out of the Wild Kingdom. We'll be right back. What does Oppenheimer Fund's approach to risk management mean? The right way to invest. Well, another black bear's been caught in a residential area. This time, it's Trenton. After rummaging through the garbage, it climbed a tree and grabbed onto a telephone wire. A wildlife expert had to punch the tranquilized animal in the nose to make it let go. The bear was then wrapped in a net and caged. Remember, just last Friday, officials caught another wayward black bear in Westchester County. That bear's already been released into the wilds in the Catskills. Some stories that will be making news tomorrow. A new state-of-the-art birthing and pediatric center opens at New York Hospital. A ceremony honoring the New York City police officers killed in the line of duty will be held at police headquarters. And the Catherine Hepburn Garden will be dedicated at Dog Hammarskjöld Plaza with the ceremony also celebrating the actress's 90th birthday. Here's Ira Joe with your wake-up weather for Monday. It's going to be a little bit chilly in the morning. We're talking 40s and 50s, 40s inland and off to the north, 50s everywhere else. The day will warm up nicely into the 70s most places. It'll be mostly sunny tomorrow morning to start, but clouds will gather in for uh, the five days of your future. Chance of showers spilling over Monday night into Tuesday, a chance again on Thursday. Temperatures climbing after tomorrow, only into the 60s. Mm. Thanks, Ira Joe. Sure. Before we go, we want to tell you about a spot you might want to avoid in the morning. 43rd Street and 5th Avenue, there is a water main break there. We'll have more on that for you on 2 News this morning, starting at 5.30. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. That's 2 News for this Sunday night. Stay tuned for a sports update with live guest New York Rangers legend Rod Gilbert. I'm Dana Tyler. I'm Stephen Clark, and that's more news in less time. Good night. Tonight on Sports Update, the Rangers take one step closer to winning another Stanley Cup. We'll talk about the Broadway Blues with Ranger legend Rod Gilbert. Then Knicks rev it up to beat Miami and their old coach Pat Riley. We'll meet a basketball player from Rutgers who's suing his school to get back on the court. We'll explain why. And like a Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel, the Knicks' Patrick Ewing has become immortalized in the Big Apple. Sports Update begins now. Sports Update, a presentation of News 2 Sport, is sponsored in part by your Ford dealer, who always offers you more. That's why you drive a Ford. Here is Gary Apple. Who would have imagined the Rangers eliminate the Devils in five games to advance to the playoffs? 56, 52 degrees, a live picture from Chopper 2 this morning of Midtown. A little hazy out there, and Linda says, bring your umbrella out today. Welcome back. I'm Kendra Farn. And I'm Cindy Shue, recapping our top stories this morning. He's got a warm front in the area, and that's Sparkins Woods already has deals with Nike and Tidelift. It's 6.15, and here's your SkyTrack 2 weather story for the evening. Rumbly, grumbly weather over much of the east. Reports of a funnel cloud down Miami Way. No reports of any damage or injury in much of the east coast, as you see, as we climb it here, has had some thunderstorms a part of the afternoon, possibly a part of the evening as well. High temperature today got up to 83 degrees in New York City. Was that a record? No, 99 back in 1962. There's the low. The cold front is with it. Right now, some sunshine on the east coast. But the deal is this, as the thunderstorm moves, uh, as, as the cold front moves closer is what I'm trying to say, not very well, uh, thunderstorms will move into the region as well and could uh, be heavy at times with a hard downpour this evening. As far as the radar is concerned, well, we see off parts of western Pennsylvania and also western New York, there you see it, that's the system that is moving toward our area. The yellow and red, particularly heavy thunderstorms embedded in that system, could move into our evening tonight. So the forecast is calling for a good chance of showers around our region and a good chance on out of these showers thunderstorms will happen as well around the region and low temperatures are going to be almost like the middle of summer tonight sliding back into the 60s now as far as long island is concerned 
coastal Connecticut, inland as well. You likewise tonight have a chance of showers, and they could linger longer in the morning, moving off to the east, but ultimately tomorrow the sun will burn through. And look at these high temperatures, even near the water, climbing well up into the 70s. Five-day forecast, and ultimately partly cloudy tomorrow, and it'll be windy. Highs in the middle 70s. Uh-oh, look at Wednesday, cooling to the mid-60s. It'll be partly cloudy, but completely Wednesday. Thursday, mostly sunny, upper 60s. Friday, mostly sunny and 71 degrees. And on Saturday, clouds move in. It'll be warm. There's a chance, too, of showers. We'll keep an eye on this system throughout the evening tonight. Could have some thunderstorms. Mm. Other than that, though, pretty decent Not bad. It's springtime. to be expected. Thanks, Byron. All right, Warner's here, and it's time to start dissecting what happened with the next thing. All right, that's right, Stevens. All right, come on. What about all this complaining? Give us a break that the Knicks were run down by not... It came true, and Kendra, I saw you watching the star. I know he's a friend of yours. What a great story. He's such a bright little kid, too. Straight ahead on News 2 this morning, angry tenants head to Albany to make themselves heard on rent control. We'll have a live report. Plus, reports from our bureaus all around the tri-state area, and Linda Church has your SkyTrack forecast. You are watching News 2 this morning. You're watching CBS 2. Now. News 2 this morning. It is 7 o'clock, 65 degrees. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, May 20th. I'm Cindy Shue. And I'm Kendra Farr. And the search begins today for a missing girl believed killed by her mother and grandmother. But first, our tough back is still at large. Lucas is at Bellevue. Sir, Sir, thank you very much. Reporting live, Farmingdale, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, News 2. All right, Jennifer, thank you very much. Let's go to Linda now to find out what kind of flying weather Bill's going to have. Oh, he's got an awful lot of wet weather out there. And he mentioned some breezy conditions. It'll continue rather windy later on this afternoon. Temperature right now at 65 degrees. This is a satellite picture for later on this afternoon. You will see some sunshine. The forecast for the rest of this afternoon up to 74 degrees in the city, 69 in Islip. Uh, we will we'll see mostly sunny skies later on this afternoon, but this morning you have an awful lot of rain to put up with, so keep that in mind as you make your way out the door. You certainly need an umbrella, and later on this afternoon it gets breezy. Let's head over to Eileen and get the very latest on traffic. Good morning, Eileen. Good morning, Linda. We're going to go live right away to a shot of the BQE, and you can see it is building heavily north. Inbound George is about 10 minutes, and over at the Holland it's 25, the Lincoln a 15 to 20 minute delay street cleaning rules are in effect. Back to you, Cindy, Kendra. Thank you, Eileen. Uh, there's much more to come on News 2 this morning. At 7.08, Air Force bomber pilot Kelly Flynn faces a court-martial hearing on adultery charges. At 7.16, Linda Church will have your local weather forecast. And at 7.52, the dinosaurs make a comeback in the lost world. Also, the Central Park Children's Zoo gets a new donor and a new name. And is Kathy Lee Gifford thinking of leaving her show? You're waking up with News 2 this morning. Every day. That's it is 715, 65 degrees. That's what it looks outside on this rainy morning. Good morning, I'm Cindy Shu. And I'm Kendra Farn. Let's check your sky track forecast with Linda. It looks awfully dreary out there. Let's take a look at another live picture for you. You can see cloudy skies. We have some scattered showers across much of the area this morning. And we'll continue at least the next couple of hours with those cloudy skies and scattered showers. This is from the Empire Camera, of course, looking northward. In the background, you can barely make out the GW Bridge. And on the right, of course, is Central Park. Cloudy skies, low visibility, some scattered showers, and that will continue on and off throughout the morning hours. Temperature now up to 65 degrees. Here's a look at what is going on right now. Temperature-wise, all across the area, 65 at uh, Central Park. 59 in Islip. The wind is calm. The humidity is high. And, of course, when you put that together... You have some light rain and low visibility. It's a miserable start to the day later on this afternoon, though. We will see some sunshine out there. Here's a look at the latest in the radar. Those thunderstorms, if they woke you up overnight, this is the line of thunderstorms that moved through. It did bring some strong gusty winds. We had wind gusts reported up to about 60 miles per hour. This is the rain across the area now. It'll be a problem for the next couple of hours, but look back here. Clearing skies, and that'll be the case later on this afternoon. So a quick look at the forecast for the rest of today. Plenty of sunshine this afternoon. The high temperature in the city getting up to 74 degrees. Keep in mind, the showers last another hour or two. Let's head back to Cindy and Kendra. All right, thank you very much, Linda. Let's go to Chopper 2, find out what Joe's over right now. Good morning, we're right over to you. Paying tribute to the Lone Eagle. You're watching News 2. More news in less time. This afternoon at 4. This is CBS 2. 
and welcome back. I'm Cindy Shue. It is 727. It is Super Tuesday on Long Island. Incredible flight that's set to begin shortly. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Exactly 70 years ago today, May 20th, 1927, Charles Lindbergh left Long Island on the historic first solo transatlantic flight. Well, this morning, we're just 66 degrees. We'll continue with mostly sunny skies. The sunshine continues on Thursday. Our high temperature gets up to 69 degrees. And here you go if you want to get away on your uh, weekend just a little bit early. Friday, mostly sunny skies, 74 degrees. And on Saturday, looks like the sunshine will continue. High temperature of 76 degrees. Let's head over to Eileen and get the latest on traffic. Thanks a lot, Linda. We have plenty of delays out there. Let's go right to the maps and take a look. We're going to start in Queens. Trouble on the Belt Parkway East. Jammed into the Cross Island. An overturned vehicle closes the two right lanes on the ramp to the Cross Island. Northbound Van Wick, very heavy with a volume from the Belt up to Main Street. Inbound George, 15 minutes. The eastbound Cross Bronx jammed into the Bruckner Interchange. An accident cleared. Westbound, a collision in the same area also cleared up. Northbound FDR Drive, bumper to bumper, 60s to the Triborough Bridge. That accident all cleaned up and over at the Holland. It's a 20-minute delay. The Lincoln, 25 minutes. Street cleaning regulations, they are in effect today citywide and the trains are on time. That's a good way to go. Now let's go live to Chopper 2 with Joe Bierman. Good morning, uh, Joe. Good morning, Eileen. We're out in Queens. The fire department, police department, EMS, and tow trucks have arrived. This is the eastbound Belt Parkway. At the Thank you, Eileen. Finally this morning, just moments ago, pilot Bill Sines took off from Republic Airport on Long Island. Signs is recreating the historic transatlantic flight Charles Lindbergh made exactly 70 years ago today. He's carrying five ham sandwiches, just as Lindbergh did, and he sprinkled dirt on his tires from the airfield that Lindbergh took off from 70 years ago. What a great feat. We'll have another check of weather in just a few minutes. We'll see you at noon. A question, is there a killer where you live and work? A new study shows... Good morning on this Tuesday, May 20th. I'm Cindy Shu. In our headlines at this hour, thousands of New Yorkers have boarded buses bound for Albany. Their mission to save rent can... Our look at what's happening around the world begins tonight with deadly storms in Bangladesh. First, the cyclone, which packed 145 mile an hour winds. Pound... Now, Warner's Plays of the Day. All right, let's go to the videotape. First of all, covering, you know what, there could be... Topping Health Watch tonight, helping women survive breast cancer. Dr. Max Gomez, News 2. Thanks, Max. That wraps up News 2 at 5.30. I'm Jerry Grant. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned now for News 2 at 6. You're watching CBS 2. Now, News 2 at 6. Our top story tonight, thousands protest in Albany over rent regulations. Good evening. I'm Could be some big changes taking place at the Home Shopping Network. Also coming. Here's some of what we're working on. Overweight women and why they now have to... Any story worth waiting for. Yes, definitely. That's it for News 2 at 6. I'm Stephen Clark. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'm Dana Tyler. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather is up next. We see you tonight at 11, we hope. Good night. Have a great evening. Surprise. This is the CBS Evening News, with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. Fast-breaking developments tonight. Yesterday, our forces are headed to the big... You're watching CBS 2. Now, News 2 at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Jerry Grant. Our top stories begin tonight with news of a woman scorned is getting even with that. Now, this breaking story from News 2. As you can see from Chopper 2, there's been an accident on the New Jersey Turnpike in Edison. This may cause your family and your friends to be a little late tonight. A car accident just under that overpass right there. This is south of exit 10, backing up traffic in the express lanes for as much as five miles in both directions. However, we are told that local lanes are moving. 
It is the ultimate big... Time. I never seem to have enough time. It's time. I don't have time to read the paper. I don't have time to watch the news. It's about time. Time for something different. It's time for something different. Yeah, I, I want to know what's going on, but I don't have an hour to sit in front of the tube. It's time for news that moves at the speed you do. Hey, I got 30 minutes. Give me the world. News 2, the news you need in the time you have. More news in less time. New on video. Take a deep breath. Number 15 and number 16. But once summer gets here, uh, who cares where the beach ranks as long as it has some uh, cold water and uh, nice sand under your feet. Uh, consider that after years of uh, storm erosion along all these uh, ocean beaches we've had, a lot of it's come back. We've had a relatively mild winter, so uh, let's enjoy the, uh, the, the summer, the holiday weekend. Let's hope it warms up a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Over Fire Island, I'm Lou Young in Chopper 2. Oh, it'll be here. Let's uh, take in that beautiful picture. That's just wonderful. Thanks a lot, Lou. Ah, the weekend is here. But could it be true? Snow, snow in your holiday travel forecast. We have some pictures you should see coming up next. A lot of screams, huh? <laughs> and wait till you see our Pop-Tart fire test. One family blames the breakfast pastry for burning down their house. Okay, over the weekend, your weather to check. Well, there will be some clouds, but come on, let's be fair. There will be some sunshine, too. What will the clouds do and how much sunshine? Stay tuned for your forecast from SkyTrack 2. It's coming up. You're watching News 2. More news in less time. News too. Pop tart fires are not uncommon. Taking a look at now some other stories around the nation. A wildfire has been raging out of control in Northern California. Track two weather story appearing upon your TV screen. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, yeah, there was about 66 degrees. 60. Looks like a lot of fun. Better have a big spotlight. It's awfully dark out there. That's our early edition of News 2 for this Saturday night. I'm Vince Dimit. And I'm Lisa Cooley for Vince, Mark, Gary, and everyone here at News 2. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back again at 11. Hope to see you then. Have a good evening. An upset in Iran. A moderate wins the presidential election and face the nation with Bob Schieffer, China, NATO, and the Kelly Flynn case. Thanks for joining us this Saturday evening. I'm Russ Mitchell, CBS News, New York. Good night. CBS News. CBS, welcome home. Saving the animals, a special hard copy Memorial Day. A hundred with no stop. Now on the bench are you fly my daughter Joan victims of crime. From News 2, this is Sunday Edition with Marcia Kramer. Good morning, welcome to Sunday Edition. Today something a little different. This past Thursday I participated as a panelist in a TV debate among the three New Jersey Democratic candidates who want to kick Governor Christy Whitman out of office. Their primary is June 3rd. The New Jersey Network held a two-hour debate, and today we bring you some of it. Good evening, I'm Kent Manahan. Welcome to Primary Debate 97. Tonight, the three Democratic gubernatorial candidates are here in our... Larry Kane of KYW-TV3 Philadelphia. Charles Style of the Trenton Times. And thank you all for being with us. Good night, everyone. Well, that also wraps up this edition of Sunday Edition. Again, the Democratic candidates for governor are Congressman Rob Andrews, State Senator Jim McGreevy, and former prosecutor Michael Murphy. Remember, the New Jersey primary is June 3rd, so get out and vote. I'm Marcia Kramer. Have a terrific Sunday. Before you choose this By time. evening, we got it all together. Friend, she did. There she is. Richard's apparently persuaded another friend, and this one, 102 years old, to do the same thing.
time now for check your sky track two weather forecast and a quick shot in towards the united states lots of cloud cover up and down the eastern seaboard today we're going to take a little flight up the east coast showers and thunderstorms from tampa up to atlanta raleigh durham washington dc philadelphia and of course rain for us in the new york metropolitan today a few thunderstorms down towards the south Current readings right now in the upper 50s to the mid to lower 60s. Humidity close to 100%, and we have the fog out there. Winds right of the northeast at 4 miles per hour. Hi, Vince Dimitri for Lisa, Mark, Gary, everybody here at News 2. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at 11. 60 Minutes is next. Carrots time. To think. Let alone read a paper. It's time. It's time for a newscast I can watch without slowing down. Hey, maybe in other cities they got time to sit around. I've got maybe a half an hour tops. If that's all you've got, that's all you need. Bada bing, bada boom. News 2. More news in less time. CBS. Welcome home. solutions. In health news this morning, Memorial Day was Tuesday. You're watching CBS 2. Now, News 2 at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Kendra Farn, in for Jerry Grant. And I'm Cindy Shuv. The true meaning of Memorial Day is not forgotten. This Promise. edition of News 2 on this Sunday. I'm Lisa Cooley. And I'm Vince DeVentry. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, we'll all be back at 11. 60 Minutes is next. Have a good night. to go. Now, your SkyTrack 2 forecast with Mark Dannon. And we had another beautiful day on this holiday weekend. Your current temperatures right now. And I'm Lisa Cooley. We're going to see you again at 11 o'clock tonight. Until then, have a great Saturday night. Good night. Watching News 2. More news in less time, every time. Repair job. Mark, we want to leave you right now. For the Lean Sugani is live at the scene with. Came out to 5220 Collins Avenue, the uh, blue and white house. Look out the window. Can't do that. That's it for News 2. It's 6 for a Tuesday. I'm Dana Tyler. I'm Stephen Clark, CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. He's coming your way next. We'll see you again tonight on News 2 at 11. In the meantime, have a good evening. The brand new tax break. And A new treatment for bladder problems tomorrow morning. Up next, meet the mafia buster who's been marked for death. She may have her baby back, but this Danish mother is not off the hook. Plus, why Don Imus is apologizing to the Clintons.